What's going on, Internet? NerdLocker.com here, and we have another edition of Trailer Trash Talk. First up is the full trailer for the new Pixar movie, Brave. Not gonna lie, every Pixar trailer I see, I have no interest in it. Yeah, that's how I feel. Like, it's always like, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then you go and watch it, and you're like, again! <laughs> now, see, again, you win! <laughs> I, I, yeah, I would have to agree with you guys, but they've never let me down. Exactly. Like, so, yeah. it's one of those things that even if the trailer looks bad, at this point in time, I'm gonna go see it. You know, it's not even that the trailer looks bad. I just have no interest in 3D animated movies until I'm forced to watch them. Like when I sat down to watch How to Train Your Dragon, which I think is what Brave is gonna be exactly, sort of like that coming of age, finding yourself sort of deal. I was like crying. It was so sweet and cute and adorable and great. And I love that. Movie. I'm sure I'm gonna like Brave just as much. I just don't want to. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm I'm on board. <laughs> I, I know I will be when I go and see it. Like so. Up next is Journey to the Center of the Earth. I'll be honest, I didn't realize this movie was being made. Neither did I. I had no and idea. I think we were all on the same page. It was like, uh, what was the first one? Yeah. Right. No, I knew the like, Brendan Fraser movie. That what, what, well, because they, they title it Journey 2. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, I don't know what this is. And then and once we looked it up, we're like, oh, this is a sequel to the Brendan Fraser. And it doesn't feel like a sequel, though. It feels like it's the same idea, different characters. And they just go back to the same place. Yeah. yeah. That one, the, the one kid, the one boy, was in the first one. Oh. oh. And so somehow he's in this one, and we've got The Rock. What are you doing? I don't know. Come on, Rock, please. Anyway. You know what? Yeah. The, okay, this is what The Rock does. He does quick Disney-esque movies where he makes a bunch of money because a bunch of people are going to take their kids to go see this movie, and then he makes a bunch of money, and then he doesn't have to do anything. Or he can go wrestle or wait for another Fast Five movie or anything like that to come out because he's yeah. not making money being a serious action star. Well, uh, and another note, Luis Guzman, what are you doing? Come on, please. He's just a character actor, man. <laughs> he just pops up when he wants to. Yeah, I just, it seems like it might be a cute kids movie. It will be. It'll be a cute kids movie. Anybody above the age 12 and that's pushing it, you're just going to be like, really? But wait, it's in 3D. Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, never mind. I was now we're the sold. the whole time for it to be in 3D. In 3D. And they waited to the last possible second to bounce a berry off the rock's pecs into the screen. Yeah. In 3D. So drive angry, 3D. I'm sorry. Journey 2, 3D. 3D. Next up, we got Chronicle, which actually drew my attention in more each second that it played. Yeah. I had not heard anything about this. Me neither. Not a word, and it looks really cool. It looked crazy good, and I love that, I mean, it's the start of like a superhero thing, like mm -hmm. explaining how they get it, but it's so cool how they're like explaining the trend towards becoming a supervillain instead of just being like a superhero gets powers, now must fight supervillain. It's like how they slowly progress to yeah, that. I, I like how like, they have superpowers and they're just using it to screw it. Yeah, it's like, it's like, it's like yeah. a, a, the three of us were like, we got powers, hey, let's Check go to out. the grocery store. Steal this chick's <laughs> car. Yeah. yeah, it's what people would actually do and yeah. how someone would actually progress. And so it like feels as real, even though it's obviously like And the first really, moment like, of, of evil, the friends are like, like, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa wait. wait. I thought we were just Did you do that on purpose? Around. What, why, what why? just happened, guys? Yeah, it's, it's, I really like this development. Yeah. And then it looks like it just escalates to some giant thing with cop cars and... And it's so crazy him just sitting like meditating and like, boom, and a car crushes and you're like, oh crap, and the look on his face, you're like, things are not gonna go good. Well, and I'm curious to see more about these powers because one's flying. Yeah. It's like, I didn't expect that to happen. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah this is honestly looks cooler the more it went on. Yeah, I'm curious and to see it. I love seeing them explain their powers through a perspective of a teenager. Like they're like, I guess it's like a muscle. We just gotta exercise it because it's really like what you would be thinking if you're doing this. I, I'm excited to see this definitely. Next up is Rampart, starring Woody Harrelson as a crooked cop. This looks incredible. Yeah, I love when Woody Harrelson cra plays crazy people. Because he's a crazy person, yeah. so it I, works perfect. I absolutely love Woody Harrelson. I just love him. Oh, he's he's awesome. I, I, I love seeing him on screen, but. The rest of the cast, Ned Beatty, who I haven't seen in a very yeah. long time. I've never heard of Ned Beatty, so. Oh my goodness, Ned Beatty's fantastic. Superman, or worse yet, Deliverance. Uh, yeah. Never mind, check him out. Uh, like, <laughs> Anne Heche, Robin Wright. Steve Buscemi. Steve Buscemi, Cynthia Nixon, Sigourney Weaver. Yeah. Who is still a fox. My favorite part of this, Ice Cube. Man, I love when Ice Cube is in anything. And plays like a, like and a black guy like and not like a family He's a man. black guy facing off again. Of course, that's weird. Yeah, he plays a black guy. 
It's <laughs> different. He usually plays a white guy. It's really but, uh, stretching. Out. It's him, and it looks like he's going up against Woody yeah, Harrelson. I can't tell if he's a reporter I or think if he's, he's a lawyer. Internal but, I think mean, Woody Harrelson is clearly a racist cop, so oh, I no, want to no, no, see... No, 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 he explains it. I'm not yeah. racist. I hate everybody. Equally. That's a great line. That means that you're equally? extra racist. That's how that yeah. works. But, I mean, that relationship right there, I want to see yeah. the two of them go yeah. head to head. Apparently, yeah. it's like it's mesmerizing, though. They're saying he's going to win an Academy Award I for this. So, I'm assuming there's some point where he... Like, it gets really, really heartfelt somehow. See, I, I see this ending in, like, yeah. bloodshed. Me too, know. me too, but it has to end in some, like, happy it, way or something. It literally looks like everything he touches, he destroys. It yeah. never looks like that, whether he means to or not. I like everything. his line in the bar, too. You are the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. In this in bar. In this bar. I'm like, yeah. it worked, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm curious. I cannot wait to see this. Yeah, this looks awesome. Last up, we got Being Flynn, the new Robert De Niro movie, which looks like an awesome Robert De Niro movie. Yeah, it oh. looks fantastic. One of my favorite movies ever is About a Boy, and the same guy who did this. And it's just, he's able to weave a touching story with, like, heartbreak. Total and this heartbreak. definitely looks like Like, heartbreak. devastating heartbreak. Like, I, I don't think there's going to be a dry eye in this theater at some points of this movie. I don't want to see it. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm kind of on jazz side. It's like, like just because you, you don't want to It's a father-son be... story and something, it's it's going to Yeah, hit. I don't you want... know it is. It just, but it's, and then again, it's Robert De Niro. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, he just can I'm act sh- like nobody's business. I'm sure it'll be a great film and it'll be wonderfully done and all that stuff. And Robert De Niro's kind of buffing it too, so old yeah, ladies will good. see it. But Dude, ser- weirdly, uh, like, man. Dude, but it's, it's the story of Robert De Niro is a writer. And you can clearly see he's failed at being a human. Yeah. <laughs> but he can write. Yeah. And, but I can't well, he's a writer he that's write. never done anything. Right? Because he's, he calls himself one of the three greatest writers of all time in American history, yet his he's never ex-wife published anything. is talking yeah. about he only is written from prison. And you're like, okay. Yeah. So he's not published. I don't quite understand. He's a bum on the street. I don't know. I think he wrote yeah, bad his, checks. His son's yeah. a writer yeah. and he's been waiting to meet his dad. So he starts hanging out in homeless shelters to find his dad. Yeah. And, and he finds him. And So yeah, it, it's going to be heavy. Yeah. I don't want to see it. I We're going to have to do a chaser of a comedy somewhere on that. because Gotta watch cartoons yeah. after. Right? Yeah. yeah, that's going to be heavy. Gotta watch cartoons. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for Trailer Trash Talk. We will see you next week, and let us know what you thought in the comments below.